our panel discussion for today, the future of manufacturing in the UAE. The manufacturing sector has been the driving force behind the UAE economy and with the approach of the fourth industrial revolution, our world now speaks of the need to implement artificial intelligence, big data and technologies. That's why we gathered here today experts, thought leaders and representatives of industrial enterprises here in the UAE to discuss the cutting edge technologies, the current and future trends of the manufacturing industry and the strategies needed to boost this sector's role in the uh, economic development of the UAE. I would like to take this great opportunity to introduce our panelists for today. Mr. Alexander Matthew Williams, Director of the Future Economy at the Department of Economic Development. Anil Kurana, Partner and Middle East Consumer and Industrial Products Leader at Price Waterhouse Coopers. Mr. Carmelo Shinardi, Vice President of EMEA uh, Emerging Markets at PTC. Mr. Viraj Srivastava, General Manager at Special Steels Factory. Mr. Yusuf Al Abd, co founder at Solva Technologies, and last but not least, Mr. Mustafa Ibrahim, integrated <coughs> logistics support manager at Mobile and Systems. The industrial activity has been on the rise in the region to achieve sustainable economic <coughs> diversification as per the UAE Economic Vision 2030. As we all know that the country has been working to transform its economy through reducing its reliance on the oil sector and increasing its focus on the knowledge-based industries of the future. One of the main resources of the future growth in the UAE is seen to be in manufacturing. And according to the Dubai Statistics Center, a 6.5% growth is predicted annually for manufacturing in the country. UAE Vision 2021 and the National Agenda are also working to develop the manufacturing sector in the UAE through fostering innovation and promoting sustainable industrialization. Last but not least, of course, we have the Dubai Industrial Strategy 2030 and Expo 2020 that are the biggest proofs of the country's increased contribution and efforts towards making the country a global platform for innovation-based businesses. Now, I would like to pass the word for our distinguished guests, and my first question will be directed towards Mr. Alexander from the Department of Economic Development. So my first question is, how important do you see the role of the manufacturing, the industrial manufacturing in the sustainable economic uh, development in the UAE? Okay, um, very important. Uh, industrial uh, manufacturing plus manufacturing services uh, is going to be a key driving force for future growth of the UAE and Dubai in, in general. I think uh, many economists have pointed out that uh, in any economy, a production-based economy is one that will drive uh, future growth of the economy because of the multiplier effects. Uh, Mr. So, Beres, yeah. would you like to comment as well on, uh, on this question? Absolutely. Um, yeah, speaking to Alexander's point, I think that a lot of SMEs over here uh, are taking a more cautious approach. Mm. Um, I think that with the increase in, in a lot of rentals, uh, the, the withdrawal of subsidies in the region, and obviously everyone talks about VAT, uh, we want to see how that has an effect on a lot of SMEs. Uh, in terms of the manufacturing sector, uh, we started off in Sharjah, and it was a very, very low cost of manufacturing, but you see that <coughs> costs in the region have dramatically increased over time. and. Uh, I'd say that uh, in order to attain competitive advantage, you really need to focus on, on niche areas, and you have to be careful. Um, when it comes to SMEs and getting financing over here, a lot of them face difficulty mm. with banks, because if you don't have a track record, you're not able to get financing. <coughs> so I just see uh, if, there's, if they're able to attain financing in a more uh, easy environment, uh, I think that could probably prosper the type of innovation and growth that we want to see in the region. Exactly. Innovation, I think, is the key word which uh, leads to my next question to Mr. Carmelo. Mm -hmm. um, now there has been a concentrated effort to promote innovation uh, among businesses here in the UAE. For example, in Dubai, we have the Hamdan Innovation Incubator and the Dubai Innovation Strategy, and they are all designed to make Dubai a global platform yep. for innovative industry. Now, coming 
coming from a technology company that has been providing um, or encouraging manufacturers worldwide to create and design better and innovative products. Um, what are the key technological trends that you see helping to promote innovation in industrial enterprises globally? And which one do you see the closest or the most prominent in uh, the Gulf region? Yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you for, for, for this question. I, I actually have the privilege of uh, listening and uh, hearing from uh, different uh, countries and what is happening in different countries. And here in, uh, in UAE and in the Gulf countries, there is a strong interest towards innovation and digitization in general. I mean, we are all living in, uh, in what you called and what we all call the fourth industrial revol re revolution, which is actually changing the way products are designed manufactured and serviced. So there, it's, a, it's the first time ever that we have the chance to understand how products are actually being used on the field. Uh, from having. there, I would like to move to Dr. Anil and really ask you how much of the, of the success of an industrial enterprise is reliant on mm -hmm. technological uh, innovation? So thank you for the question. Let me pick up on Carmelo's previous point and connect that question to, to that as well. So for 25, 30 years, we've known about CAD, computer design, Mm. computer-aided manufacturing, and those technologies were available 25 years ago. Mm. The reason they didn't necessarily make an impact is because they were focused on a plant, a design department, and now we have the opportunity to expand that across the value chain, I think as Alexandra said as well. Mm -hmm. So now, if you think of engineering, and similarly with planning as well, think of a, 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 a supplier who's designing components, being able to connect with the customer who may, may be doing an assembly of automotives, mm -hmm. And through that process, be able to not only link the design, but also link planning. So what product do you need? Where does it fit? When do you need that product or component? That's now very streamlined, or can be very streamlined if yeah. done well. Mm. So coming back to your question on the importance of uh, digital broadly, let me answer that in two parts. First, first is what is digital for manufacturers? Right, mm. That's an important question to answer. Mm. Uh, I think as Carmola said, there are three or four key elements in there, but fundamentally talking about new technologies enabling manufacturers in a way that was never possible before. But in that is key is data. Data is very key, because data enables us to, once we collect data, so collection of data means you have sensors and other controls to, to make that possible. But it, data enables better maintenance, better planning, better shop floor uh, integration. And so data is key to all of this. Mm -hmm. The other elements which are the, the sources of collecting data, which are maybe IoT comes in there as well, is important as well. And then these link in with the changes in the workforce that we have. Mm -hmm. The skills needed for managing such a set of uh, machines, shop floor data, et cetera, become very different. So the impact, why it's important to manufacture. So in, in the rest of the world, this has been something that started six, seven, eight years ago, mm -hmm. when computing power, uh, access to the whole value chain become easier. Mm -hmm. And so we've looked at studies in Germany, in the Middle East, and so on. And what you find, the reason that it makes an impact for manufacturers is, is two or three elements. One is better efficiency mm -hmm. in terms of integrated uh, production linked to engineering. And so th we've estimated the impact of that can be 5 to 10% on cost alone. Mm -hmm. Similarly, on your customer side, you have the same implication, which is your planning is better, your delivery is better, your streamlining operations, and hence the customer benefits are about the same. So that's, I think, the fundamental reason for uh, manufacturers adopting digital technologies. So it makes it more expensive to produce a similar product uh, with less regulation or regulated countries. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think the only way to overcome such a challenge, which is actually a good challenge, is, is by using and utilizing technology that can bring down the, the product cost or right. manufacturing cost mm. of the product. Yeah. So I think that's the last thing I can add. Mm. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. I've been really grateful for uh, each one of you for taking their time and joining us for this fruitful discussion and talking about how the future of manufacturing would be for UE enterprises. I would like to wrap up with three main concluding points, which is that it's very clear that we have a tremendous opportunity, but yet a great challenge for industrial companies in the UAE and globally to embrace the, the digital uh, transformation. Uh, second point is advanced technologies are on the rise and they are changing every step of the value chain of the manufacturing businesses, allowing for more efficient operations and more competitive and innovative products. 
Lastly, the Internet of Things and augmented reality are fueling the shift to the adoption of the new business models and are revolutionizing the way products are being created, developed, and serviced. We're lucky to be witnessing a very exciting time, a time where a new industrial revolution is approaching and will help us build a more sustainable and diversified economy that will benefit and add more value for both the manufacturers and the consumers. Thank you very much uh, one more time and it has been a very fruitful discussion and I, it's been my pleasure to be your host today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.